Welcome back to Sumster Games, the place to find new strategy games and today I have for you decks and daggers. Now this is a deck building RPG with some pretty interesting and unusual mechanics. So let's start a brand new game. You too. With a loud bang, the dungeon door is smashed down. Chakra mines were probably used to know or not, but one look at the large man emerging from the dust would reveal that subtly is not one of his characteristics. We're gonna skip the area, and we're gonna go and play. After the senseless killing of monsters, you could sure use a drain. The tavern in the woods is your favorite place to be. It is just the right combination of ale, avenges, and bar fight to quench your never-ending thirst. A shady figure has piqued your interest in assassin, maybe? How long has it been since you've last paid your taxes? You approach the man directly to find out. Over here, stranger. The shady figure turns out to be a shopkeeper. The man has lots of useful items to sell to an adventurer such as yourself. You briefly consider robbing the man, but the grin on the man's face and the knife in his jacket makes you realize it's probably a bad idea. So here we can buy new cards for our deck. We're not going to do it over here. Now, a couple things to keep. This game has some very interesting mechanics, but I find the one drawback for this game seems to be that it, it's very random. So it can end up being quite difficult. Like, I feel you're gonna die a lot in this game, but we'll see. Maybe we'll do better when we're playing it together. I'm gonna start in Wormwood. Here we have Heroic Card, we have 7 gold total. We're gonna level 0 out of 1000. Monster Tab is 40 and total loot is 20. And this is a very unusual mechanics for a deck builder. This is not a typical deck builder that you're gonna see. As you approach the dungeon, you see multiple footprints in the mud. The floor is littered with broken bottles and the door of the dungeon has been broken down. So the way this works is that in order to win, you have to get the number here of all the cards in the dungeon to zero. So you have to kind of go through all the cards. How do you do that? Well, uh, when you you can use your, you can equip some of the cards, discard some of the cards and you have to kill the monster. So you can grab this weapon and you can grab, for example, this meat and let's say uh, the bandages. And if one card is left, then uh, that card will be used to, uh, that, then that card will sort of stay and you will draw new cards. You can also run away. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our weapon to hit him. Notice the number of the weapon is four, the number on the monster is five. So he would do five damage to me. Or I can hit him for 4 out of the 5, so now he's only 1 HP left, so now he's going to hit me only for 1. I don't have any other way to defend myself, so I'm going to let him hit me for 1, which will make the card disappear, and now we're going to draw new cards. We have a roach here with a health of 4, and I have a throwing knife that I can use to hit it for 3. Now at this point I can place a shield on myself and let it attack my shield so I can keep the shield. Now I could either heal myself now with this meat, to heal myself for one point and then I can equip the second set of meat or I have to discard this meat so I'm actually gonna heal myself because it's better than just plain discarding oh I have to discard it anyways yeah I forgot that actually if you use it up it's gonna stay because you can't just take these things away you can't move them up you can only discard cards so now I have to discard either the treasure or the meat I'm gonna discard the treasure because it's more important to survive so we're gonna put it over here now there's only one card left, so we draw again. So you draw every time there's only one card left. So it's really important to calculate how to best utilize it. So I'm going to use my weapon to kill... Actually, I'm going to use it to kill this one. One left. Now he's going to hit my shield. And I'm going to place a new shield and let this monster hit the shield. And now the meat is the only thing left. Okay, we've got a roach with the HP of 4, so I'll let it hit my shield once. Place a new shield, let it hit my shield again. And then we're going to grab some of these gems. Now the cool thing is that because it's going to end the turn, these things will disappear so you can utilize it to get some extra space. Now at this point I do not have a weapon. So there are a couple things we can do. We could either leave one monster for the next round of cards and hope that we get a weapon. Or we can just let them hit us and then heal ourselves. So for example, I can let the roach hit me and then use the bandage. So I'm back to full HP and I could do the same thing with the gnome and the meat. I'm actually going to do that. Use the meat, heal the meat. And then we'll save up a few coins. This is all going to disappear, so we're free to fight the next set of monster. Now this ooze is a little bit dangerous because if you let it hit you, you will get a uh, poison. 
So you don't want to let that happen too much. I have to let it happen right now, but it means I'm going to get hit for one at the start of each round, which is pretty bad. So I'm going to let this ooze stay till next round, so that hopefully we can use a shield to defend against it. We can't. Ooh, this is actually really bad. So I can use the throwing knives. Wait. I can heal myself to full HP. I should probably do that. I can use the throwing knives to kill this or this. I I think the poison stacks, so we'll try to leave this monster for later. So we're going to use our weapon to hit this one, and then we'll let this hit me for one. I get hit for one because of the poison, and now I can use my throwing knives to kill this and get all the good treasure. I'm going to heal myself. And take, take the few parts. So we got everything, eventually. We got 86 XP because we have zero damage bonus because we finished it with full HP, we healed ourselves. That's pretty cool. Hold card was troubled. The loot from the dungeon was not enough to cover even the most basic expenses. What are we gonna do? Out of luck, I'll buy you a drink if I can have your attention for a moment. We'll start buying. My name is Salazar, I'm a scholar. I'm translating a book. It didn't make any sense at first, but recently I've managed to decipher the coordinates of an ancient vault. I found a place, but it was riddled with monsters. I could barely escape alive. There's gold there. Lots of it. We could team up, maybe? Share the treasure? Just give me the location and I'll return with the treasure. <laughs> Smart. But I'm sorry. I need my expertise in order to enter the temple and get access to the secret passages. Both men agree and shake hands. Salazar gave a weak handshake. A sin. The barbarian thought. So we can go now, so we can go to a deck builder actually, and we can change what we have in our hands. So we currently have 15 uh, cards in our deck. Now I'm actually going to rename this guy after one of my patrons. So this is going to be uh, Timo. Timo, the fighter that we have. And we can change this. For example, we could decide to put more meat or more bandages. Now because we know that the bandages actually heal you better than the meat, I'm going to take one meat away and instead put bandages in there because they can heal us for a little bit more. You could also get more shield if you wanted to. Now we know that shield heal us for three and the benefit of shield actually is that the card disappears after usage. So you can take a different card in. So it's actually a good idea to use shield instead of the meat because the card will disappear and you can reuse it, which is pretty good. So we're gonna take a few more shields and some bandages. And let's go to a world map. And we finished Wormwood, so now we're gonna go to Black Burrow. I don't know if you can go to Wormwood again. It actually looks like you can. But I guess we'll do to go to Black Burrow to just like do the properly, the mission. But it might be interesting to redo to get some more money. Covered by thick vegetation, Salsa and Timo found the entrance of an old one. I love that it changes the name here as well, that's so good. This is the location I was telling you about. Step aside. Timo's gonna kick open the large stone door. <laughs> that won't work here. Let me do my job. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> the entire door was a complicated system of pressure plates in the shape of a tree. Salazar deciphered the symbols carved into the stone and pushed some of the plates until the entire door started to rumble. And then, it opened. Now listen carefully. Inside the temple you find lots of treasure. I'm only interested in one thing. A red ruby called the Eye. Retrieve that ruby for me and you can keep the rest of the loot. What's so special about that ruby? Remember the book I mentioned earlier? I believe that there will be some kind of kaleidoscopic looking glass. I needed to decipher the text. I'll wait here in the entrance of the temple. Good luck. Try not to get killed. On it. Ooh, so we only have one monster. So I'm gonna grab my shield, use my weapon to hit the monster, let the monster hit me, and we'll equip a weapon. I'm immediately- oh! So I should, what I should have done is I should have equipped the, the chalice, because if I did that, uh, it would kind of disappear at the end of the turn, and it would not do any damage to me. Now, if you use the throwing knife, you will actually waste the weapon. So I'm actually gonna have to get rid of the gem, which is super sad, but it's the, I wanna keep the knives. I will use the throwing knives to kill this gnome. Let the ooze hit my shield. And I'm gonna take the gem. 
Fantastic. Very nice on the monster. Keep the gem, keep the meat. We'll let the weapon stay. Ooh, beautiful. Uh, actually, I could, I could straight up kill the road, so I'm gonna do it. Cannot equip both shields, apparently, together, so we're gonna have to do it like this. That's alright. Alright, um... Hmm. I'll take the ring. I think I'll eat the meat, even though it's a little bit of a waste. Ooh, we'll have to get rid of the bandages. And the coin! No, oh, that's so sad. Because of that one shield that we have left. But that's okay. Keep the weapons. I have two more cards to go. Interesting. We can. I'm gonna have to kill the ogre because if I let him hit me the way he is, we would just die. We'll let the gnome hit us, we'll use the bandages. Then we'll let the ogre hit us. And we'll use a second set of bandages, presumably. Actually, we're just gonna eat the meat. Let the monster hit me for four. Use the bandages and then take the ring. So we end up with full HP again, so we get another bonus here. This went very well, I gotta say. New locations will be unlocked when all stages have been completed. Okay. Now we've got 50 to go, which I believe means that we could buy something new in the shop. You interested in some goods? Very interesting. So good. We could get antidote which cures poison and diseases. The thing is, it, I feel like it's gonna pollute your deck, so I'm actually not gonna go down this path. We're gonna try to wait to get around shield, which is a shield for five, which is obviously way better. So let's let's just do one more. Let's start a fight. Let's see if we can survive this. I do wonder if we can go back, but we're gonna get the money for that. And we should be able to level up very soon because we can get our 1000 XP for that level. I just wanted to say thanks, your help means a lot to me. No problem. Why did you become a scholar in a world like this? I'll admit I do feel a bit out of place in this world, but to be honest, I've always had that feeling. Tell me. I was raised in an orphanage. My parents only left me one thing, a book. I feel obligated to study it and maybe even discover something about my heritage. All right. Ooh. Not the greatest of starts. I'm gonna let the roach hit me and immediately heal myself with bandages. We'll use the weapon on this monster, and then the monster on the sh oh, we don't have to use on the shield yet. Ooh. Guess we'll use this one on the shield. Get a second shield. Use it on it again. Your hero health has increased by one. Ooh, very nice. Get some coins. Now, if you were to run away, we would take four damage, but we would be able to reroll. So sometimes it can be useful. But I think we'll just take we'll take two damage from this one, and we'll let this gnome stay here. It's a better choice. Yes, I can use my throwing knives to kill this gnome. We'll, and we'll take the shield and one set of bandages. Now this is a bit of a waste, like if I wanted to use the cleaver on the Uding Ooze, it would be a wasteful because it, um, it destroys my weapon. But now we kind of waste our bandages, which, okay, and our shield. I guess we'll, I'll get rid of the treasure, I want to keep the shield, I might need it later. Let I'm gonna use the throwing knives to kill this. Use the ooze on the shield. And we'll take it like this. We'll let the ooze survive one turn so that we can use it on the shield better. Yeah. Now kill the rogue. Ooze on the shield so I don't get poisoned. Bobbing enemy also on the shield, and we can let it hit me and we'll eat the meat to heal ourselves back up. Rat. Rats are stronger in packs. Plus one for each rat on the board. There's thankfully no other rat on the board. Ooh, but we got no defense here. So I'm gonna have to let the rat hit me, which hurts. And we'll have to leave this big monster alive, which is kind of problematic. We'll get rid of this gem. Okay, but we get a really good weapon. No healing, though. I think we might be dead.
I can use the cleaver to hit the boxing enemy. And then my only choice would be to run away. Because otherwise I'll get killed. I'll do it. And there is no healing? Oh my god. We're dead. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to let it die. But you see, this is what I mean. Like, I feel like this game is quite difficult. It's just like the third fight, but this is this is just how it happens. It really depends on like what you draw, I think. Let's kill the rat first. We'll, we'll try this again. Hopefully we'll do better this time. Okay. Take the gems. I'm gonna let them both hit me, but for two, that seems pretty, pretty low. That's fine. Okay. Throwing knives on this guy hit me for three, and then I'm gonna heal myself for four. Take the ring and gotta leave the bandages alive, I think. Yeah, the gnome can hit me for three, I can heal myself for four, which is fantastic. And keep a lot of bandages. Alright. Big weapon against the boggling enemy. Now we're gonna have to, have to waste a really good weapon on this ooze. I'm, I'm just... Uh, but if I let the ooze hit me, then every turn I'm gonna take one damage, which is really bad, so I'm gonna have to do it. Which is super sad for me, but... Just the way it is. Alright, we'll use our shield. I'm gonna let them hit me for five. I'll heal myself for four. Hit my shield and allow them to hit me for one and we'll- Oh, well, we should have taken the coins first. Okay. Gold coins, gems, and we'll get rid of this, I think. Alright, three cards to go. Hit me for two, I'll eat my meat. Let me hit let them hit me for three and again I'll eat my meat. Okay, good. See, so it, it I don't I don't know, like I feel like the problem is that because of how it's random, it doesn't feel like I'm losing because of my disability. Or like not being good enough, or it feels like it's because of the random but I don't know, it, it might be that there's like some skill required. I just I don't know. Because you don't know what's in the what is in the deck of cards. It just feels and next and next, grabbing loot and running away is a valid tactic. You can deal with the monsters later. Yeah, but you take a lot of damage for that, I feel. Alright, but we have enough money to take the better shield, which might be enough to actually help us out. Because you can't completely leave the dungeon, you stay in the dungeon. So, like, I, I don't know, I don't know. It might be that I'm not quite playing it right, but it feels very hard. Like, this is like, what, the third fight we did and we already lost? That feels very early to have your first loss. In my opinion, I could be wrong. Alright, so now let's go to Deck Builder and let's uh, switch essentially all of our shields for the better shields. Two of our shields will get two of the round ones. Okay. And you also wonder whether this meat rare is considered better than the normal shield because it's like... But I think because of the fact that the shield disappears it's actually better to use the shield because you have that chance that it will go away if, if you get the precise numbers and then you can survive a bit longer. And let's use the cleaver on the big guy. And I'm actually gonna let the big guy stay so that I can uh, get rid of these gems. Okay, you can hit my shield, make it go away. Take a new shield and a weapon and a chalice. I also think that an important act is to get all the gems to go away. I, mean, I could be wrong about that, but it feels like that's important. Oh, I shouldn't have done that now. Because I, now I'm going to lose... Uh... So, question. Would this be a valid tactic to run away? I take 4 damage, so it's as if I used up this bandage card. But I will keep my weapon. 
Oh, then it's just better to discard the bandage and the gem. Okay, yeah. Nothing. Okay, that was... What do I want to keep on? I, I'll get rid of the coins. And I'll wear a weapon and a bandage. Use the weapon on this guy. The cleaver on the road. Beautiful. And destroy the round sheet and we'll get... I'm gonna get rid of the ring first. Ooh, great time. When this enemy is destroyed, an odious ooze will be spawned. Well, that's okay. okay. Let the ooze hit this. New shield. Destroy both oozes on the shield. And the yeah, but the new shield is so good. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't say since the game is dead because this time it feels quite easy. But uh, yeah, it's just, I feel like it's very dependent on the on the random generator. I don't know. Uh, uh, now we get a bunch of monsters. Okay. Use the knives to kill. Let's think just to kill that. Now you hit me for five. I'm gonna heal for four. So now I'm at six HP. Okay. One thing is left. Ooh. If you hit me for four, I'll get healed for three, so that's five HP, and we're dead. Correct? Yeah. So we got- see, the, and there's no point in running away because this is the last set of cards, so... We're dead. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. It just feels like you're doing so well and then you're dead. I don't know. <laughs> feels like we're dying anyway. Yeah. Let him hit me for five. So we should have a lot of healing. Oh. Definitely misspoke that one. Guess we'll have to run away. I don't know how the price of the running away is determined. Because it feels... Uh, I, I would love to know how that counts. Because if you can affect that, that would be quite useful. But yeah, I don't know. Let me heal myself. And then let the roach hit me. Okay. See, like, now the running away is cheap. But towards the end, it was actually quite expensive. Four. Grab the chalice. Let the gnome... See, now it suddenly costs two. I wish I knew, like, the, what the price of this... Oh, we have to run away. What the pri how, how is the price determined? Maybe it depends on, like, how far we're in the dungeon? No, but that's one again. Okay, so this one's actually quite easy. We can just take all this, all these gems. And we get our good shield. I keep the shield I want. Can I use the runaway on the shield? I can't. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense that he can, but still. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it like this and keep the weapon available. We really don't have much HP, so we gotta work on that. Okay, I can use the thing to kill the slime. And the throwing knives to kill the ooze. Okay, last round. Hit myself for five, then eat me- See, so now it worked again. Yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, why does this cost four now? In the dust you find the red Zubi Salazar was looking for. 
Thanks for finding that, Obi. Now I can continue my work. I'll need some time to cipher the text. I'll meet you later at the tower. Can we go to the shop? Do we have hey, enough to buy? We don't have 85 for this. Kicks a card back into the deck. Yeah, this would be huge. Being able to like kick a monster uh, away. That's fantastic. I want that. Also a weapon. So the thing though is like weapon with six doesn't feel like it's great. But the disadvantage is you lose the remaining points. It's not like the shield where it remains with you. You just kind of lose it. So. I mean weapon six is great. But it's also like. I mean we would equip it instead of the throwing knives anyway. But still. I mean an interesting tactic to think about whether you even want to have weapons. Because like if you think about it, what does the throwing knife do? It takes the card of the throwing knife and it uses it to kill one thing that has three life. But because of the shield can be split into one-to-one -one values, wouldn't it theoretically more sense to just have shields? Because you, so to speak, destroy the monster by the damage that they do to you. Let's give that a shot. We're gonna take away all of our throwing knives. And instead, okay, well, actually, we could only use two, so we'll put one back. And we'll take shields instead, and we'll try to do one more to see. Because there has to be, a, I am not willing to accept that this game is based on randomness. There has to be a tactic. And I know, like, every game is a little bit random, but I feel like we can do better than what we've been doing so far. And so I'm going to make it so that we're going to win this one. You'll see. Generates the full health at the end of the round and gain plus two, so we gotta kill it like immediately. So I'm gonna have to use both of my weapons, presumably, on this, and then we still have to run away. Or oh, you know what? Actually, I could let it hit me for two. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. What? Is, oh, treasure chest? Oh my god, yes. Okay, so we'll use you to hit the shield. Cleaver to hit this guy. Let him... Uh, and we'll keep the treasure chest. Beautiful. Okay. Can hit me for one. I'll heal myself for four. Grab a bag of gold and the meat. Okay. Um... You can, we're gonna use the throwing knife to kill this ooze. Hit me for four, I'll drink and grab the chalice and that's it. It, it feels kind of better now, I feel like. Maybe having more shields is the way to go. Taking the chalice because I know that that will disappear as opposed to, to the other thing we, we have, so. You go. Well, let this thing hit me for four. We'll heal back for four. And we'll have the shield, I guess. Can it hit me for one? Beautiful. So this one. So I think maybe, maybe, maybe what you had to figure out is that you have to go defensive and not offensive. Maybe that's the the strategy to the game. Can I speak to you for a second? Today someone broke into my house. They stole a rare weapon from my inventory. A scimitar managed to track down the item and found a merchant that is selling it. Can you retrieve the sword for me? Maybe rough him up a little so it won't happen again. I'll pay you 20 golds. Sure, I'll pay this merchant a visit. No, I knew I could kind of. I'll pay you when the job is done. But yeah, I have to say I'm having a lot of fun with the game. The only thing is like the randomness because I, I feel a bit strange about playing a game where you lose like under third fight but it could be just that I wasn't that skilled but I felt it was a lot of randomness so if any of you are going to be playing more of this game let me know in the comments as you move further how much you feel like the randomness and the skill kind of like whether it balances out but you feel like as you move further and you get better stuff from the shop it becomes a lot less about randomness and a lot more about skill because then obviously that's fantastic or if you feel like but to be fair the game doesn't have any like negative effect to losing so it, I guess it doesn't really matter you can just retry but yeah, 
But it, it's a really fun game, I gotta say. Alright, well, you can click on the right uh, to watch some other Deck Builders to Venice channel. I'll see you there. Bye bye!